It was entirely spontaneous, just sitting back and letting the mind, the body and soul take control. The colour of the pen themselves. This pigment is sentience. They call me a craftsman, but I'm just really a hand of the brush. Oi, this is not an interview. You're allowed to look into the lens. <laughs> okay, alright. Welcome back everyone. Jay's here from Lens Library. Yeah, we are doing camera review. Today, we get an almost brand new camera, but oh! Fujifilm GFX. It has 400 megapixel medium format. So, how it can be? Let's get started. The new firmware update includes not only the 400 megapixels, it also has the complete 18 film simulation. Imagine taking classic negative in medium format. Sweet. Let's jump into the result. Pixel Shift 400 megapixel is not for everyone and it's not for every use case. The best use case is to take the completely stationary object like interior of museum, prints, artwork preserve. The worst use case scenery or anything that move. Alright, to give everyone an idea what I mean by 400 megapixel, we put few cameras together. Let the war begin, the fire rises. This shot start with a Lego box, Sian Lamborghini. It's 18 megapixels on 550D, this is the lowest we can get but we are not cutting any corner, we're putting a Zeiss Otters 55 1.4 on it. And the next shot, the most common 24 megapixel Panasonic S1. This is the sensor that everyone get today. Now the third one, A7R3 with a 42 megapixel, a full frame sensor. And the next one, now we went into the medium format territory. This is a 50 megapixel Pentax 645Z. And we starting getting to see more detail. And now, GFS itself, 102 megapixel. This could be the best thing you can ask for the market right now. But we are not stopping there. The king, 400 megapixel, pixel shift, photo stitching, GFX. You can read the Lamborghini, right? <laughs> now that you know how to number compare with each another, we skim the boring resolution that we used to get. Let's the wall keep between medium format. Yep, this is my beloved uh, collection of figury. Let's starting off with the Pentax 645Z at 50 megapixels. The next one we are seeing the native GFS 102 megapixels, and last 400 megapixel pixel shift photo stitching. I have to keep mentioning that. Look how much detail they retain in this photo. Where's our next operation? Let's go to Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Here the cats, there are something else. Malaysia, zoom, enhance. Yep, at first we couldn't get any artwork uh, before I penned this. So we think world map could be a good idea. So that uh, I... I feel like this 100 megapixels versus 400 megapixels is always like a movie, you know? Enhance! <laughs> the 400 megapixel is an enhance of that 100 megapixel. You always can squeeze up a little bit more resolution. Not a little bit more, in fact, it's quite a lot. I'm so glad and excited to have a huge upgrade like this for my GFX. But do I really need the 400 megapixels? Photo stitching, pixel shift, combine, high res, super res, Hyper-res or whatever we call it are getting very common today. Almost everyone is doing it. Every camera brand, phone brand. In fact, you and me are holding one of them. Most outstanding one should be the Apple iPhone. They call it computering photography. Million or trillion action in one second just to complete one perfect photo. But there are different purposes for different photo stitching technique iPhone is meant to create a perfect photo out of a small sensor and the small lens disadvantage. It's create better HDR, lower noise, diffusion, and all this just to make image sharper and greater in the tiny little 12 megapixel daily use. Some other cameras like Panasonic S1R, Sony S7 R4, Olympus DJI, they stitch the photo with the help of AI to perfect the moment in the photo. Sky, moving cloud, glass, tree or even moving human and vehicle. In result, give us a high resolution scenery photo that almost perfect. 
or none noticeable in forest. So, what about Fujifilm GFX 400 megapixel pixel shift? Fuji consciously made the decision to stay rooted, where everyone else had decided to venture into machine learning, content aware teaching technique. By leaving out all involvement from artificial intelligence, what you see is what exists. Authenticity is a priority when you are using imaging to preserve an invaluable piece of artwork. The weight of this extends as far as our attempt to keep history as unadulterated as possible for the multiple oncoming generations. And if you like more videos just like this, or if you like my artwork, obviously it's a joke. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button, it means a lot to us, and keep us moving. Like, share, and comment. See you in the next video. Oh, I just love this. <laughs> <laughs>